Good morning students. How are you all? I am Ira Mustafa, your science teacher. Today we will learn more about living things and their environments. We will read lesson number 3. How do plants and animals live in water environments? We will read textbook page number 25. Today's learning objective is that you will be able to learn how plants and animals live in water environments. Dear students, first of all, we will recall the previous lesson. I will tell you what is environment. An environment is all the living things and non-living things in one place. There are the different kinds of environments. Here we will discuss land environments and water environments. Land environment have different kinds of environments. like forest prairie and desert a forest is a land environment that has many trees and other plants many animals live in forest like tiger lion monkey black bear etc animals live in different environments they have some body parts that help them to live in that environment like black bear lives in forest they have sharp claws that help them to dig for food and help them climb trees A prairie is an other kind of land environment. It is flat land that is covered with grasses. Prairie dogs, goats, cows and horses live in prairie. Prairie dogs have sharp teeth and claws. Sharp teeth help prairie prairie dog to chew food and sharp claws help them to dig holes that are used for shelter now students third land environment is desert a desert is a dry land it gets very little rain or snow Most deserts are very cold and some are very hot. Plants grow in desert like cactus. Cactus have waxy leaves that hold water. Many animals get the water they need from the plants they eat. Now students Second kind of environment is water environment. You know some animals live in water environments. They get what they need there. Some plants live in water environments too. Flat leaves help the plants float like water lily. Some plants have long stems with roots down to the soil. They soak up the nutrients and long stems help them to get sunlight. You know that sunlight is necessary for plants because they make food. Some plants live under water. They grow there. where they get sunlight easily because sunlight is must for plants because they need sunlight to make their food 
Now, wetland. A wetland is an environment that is covered with water. Marshes are wetlands and they have grasses. Many different kinds of animals live in marshes. Blue herons live in marshes. They have long sharp beaks and they catch fish with them. Herons have long thin legs too. They help them to walk easily in water. So dear students, we have already discussed that all animals and plants have some special features that help them to survive in that environment. Like blue herons have long beak that help it to catch fish easily and have long legs that help it to walk easily in water. Other animals like frog, turtle, snake, they have also some special features that help them to live in water environment. Frog have webbed feet that help it to swim in water. Turtle have flippers that help it to swim in water easily. Some flowers like water lilies, they have flat leaves that help them to float on water. And some plants have long stems that help them to get sunlight and with roots they soak up the nutrients from the soil. Now students, I will repeat it again that the animals who live in marshes like blue herons they have long sharp beak and that help them to catch fish they have long thin legs that help them to walk easily in water other animals that live in marshes like frogs turtles Snakes, they also have some spe special features that help them to live in water environment. Like frog have webbed feet that help it to swim in water. Turtles have flippers that help it to swim in water. Some flowers like water lilies, they have flat leaves that help them to float on water and some plants that live in water they have long stems and roots long stems help them to get sunlight and with roots they soak up the nutrients from the soil And some animals, they live underwater because they need less sunlight so they survive underwater easily. Now dear students, second kind of wetland is swamp. Swamps are soft wetlands and have many trees. Alligators and other animals live in swamps. These animals are adopted to fluctuating water levels. The shadowy tree root system and cypress knobs provide a rich sheltered habitat for nesting birds as well as fish, amphibians and reptiles. Dear students, Alligator live in swamps. They are good swimmers. They use their long strong tails to help them swim. 
I will repeat it again that some animals that live in swamp, swamps are soft wetlands and have many trees, alligators and other animals that live in swamps, they have some special features that help them to live in swamps like alligator have long strong tail that help it to swim easily in water animals they are adopted to fluctuating water levels the shadowy tree root system and cypress knobs provide a rich shelter as habitat for nesting birds as well as fish, amphibians and reptiles. Now students move on the third water environment ocean. Ocean is environment that is a large body of salty water. Some parts of the ocean are deep. Fish, shark, alligators and many other animals live in ocean. They have some special features that help them to live in ocean. Like fish have gills. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. They have fins also that help them to swim in water easily. In the same way, many different types of plants also live in ocean. Dear students, as you know, oceans are very deep. And the deep ocean is dark. So plants do not live in dark because they need sunlight. And in deep ocean, they don't get sunlight. So ocean plants live where there is light. From where they get sunlight easily. Because we all know that plants make their own food with the help of sunlight. And if they don't get sunlight, they cannot survive. So, they live in the ocean where they get light easily. Now students, I will repeat it again. Ocean environment is a large body of salty water. Some parts of the ocean are deep, fish, shark, alligators and many other animals live in ocean. They have some special features that help them to live in ocean. Like fish have gills. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. Fish have fins also that help them to swim in water. In the same way, many different types of plants also live in ocean. Oceans are very deep and the deep ocean is dark. So plants do not live in dark because they need sunlight and in deep ocean they don't get sunlight. So ocean plants live where there is light. Because you know that they will make their own food with the help of sunlight. Now students, open page number 25 of your textbook. Now dear students, you will draw three lines at the top of the page. Write day, classwork and date according to the given format. First letter of a day, classwork and the month like November and should be capital. 
Now, students, look at question number five. Read, underline the sentence that tells how gills help fish live in the ocean. Now, dear students, first of all, I will read the paragraph. Listen carefully. Ocean environment. An ocean is a large body of salty water. Some parts of the ocean are deep. Fish live in the ocean. They have gills. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. Fish have fins which help them swim. Plants need sunlight to make food. Ocean plants live where there is light. The deep ocean is dark. Plants do not live there. Now dear students, which sentence tells how gills help fish? Now look at fourth line. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. Now you will underline this sentence because it tells us how the gills help fish. I will repeat it again. Underline this sentence. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. Now dear students, I will read the paragraph again. You will read this paragraph along with me. Ocean environment. An ocean is a large body of salty water. Some parts of the ocean are deep. Fish live in the ocean. They have gills. Gills let fish take in oxygen from the water. Fish have fins which help them swim. Plants need sunlight to make food. Ocean plants live where there is light. The deep ocean is dark. Plants do not live there. Now dear students, we have already discussed that an ocean is a large body of salty water. It is very deep. Lot of animals and plants live in the ocean like fish. Fish have gills that help it to take in oxygen from the water and they also have fins that help it to swim. So these body parts of fish help it to live in ocean. Dear students, as you know, many plants also live in ocean. They live where they get sunlight because they use sunlight to make food. Without sunlight, plants cannot live. Now students, move on question number 6. Draw and cross on the parts of the fish that help it swim. Now look at the picture of fish. Have you seen that? Uh, can you tell me which part of the fish help it to swim? Now look at this. These are fins. So draw a cross on the fins because they help it to swim. I will repeat it again. Draw a cross on the fins because fins help the fish to swim. Now students, look at question number 7. Why don't plants live in the deep ocean? Yes, dear students, what do you think? Why don't plants live in the deep ocean? 
we have already discussed that plants need sunlight and in dark deep ocean they don't get sunlight so they live in the ocean where they get sunlight easily now students look at the next picture we will just revise the different kinds of wetlands this is the picture of marsh marsh environment marsh environment is a wetland that has grasses now look at the animals that live in marshes blue herons frogs fish crabs turtles insects and birds they live in marsh environment now student look at the second picture that is the swamp swamps are the wetland with many trees and other plants alligator lives in swamps alligator is a good swimmer because it has a very long and strong tail that help it to swim in the water now look at the third picture this is the picture of the ocean ocean is a large body of salty water many animals and plants live in the ocean ocean is a deep and dark and the plants they live in the ocean where they get sunlight easily now students can you please tell me what is an ocean yes ocean is a large body of salty water i will repeat it again ocean is a large body of salty water now question number 2 which part of a fish helps it to swim yes dear student what do you think yes fins help the fish to swim i will repeat it again fins helps the fish to swim in the water now students look at this the video link is given so you will watch the video it will it will be helpful for you to understand the ocean that's all for today allah hafiz see you in the next lesson